हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम आर्किटेक्ट सोनो राय फ्रॉम ग्रीन लैंडस्केप एंड आर्किटेक्चरल डिजाइन स्टूडियो एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सीट सेटिंग इन फोटोशॉप हाउ वी विल मेक आवर आर्किटेक्चरल सीट्स लाइक ए नॉट ए वन ए टू ए थ्री एंड ए फोर एंड इन टूडे वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ वी विल इम्पोर्ट आवर ऑटोकेट एंड इन टू फोटोशॉप एंड रेंडर इट एंड we will use uh, two methods of importing our autocad file and how we will import revit file also into photoshop we will discuss so um, this is my uh, residence plan in autocad and i want to make a client presentation in photoshop so i want to import in photoshop so i will use uh, one two methods uh, one is uh, by plotter method and another one is by pdf format so we'll discuss each one so first i will uh, discuss with you plotter method so uh, i will enter my shortcut commands options copy to my uh, command panel and how oh, this will uh, open options will open and you can also uh, go to this autocad uh, file and you can also uh, go to your option command here you can also click it from here or you can enter options and also you can <coughs> directly enter plotter manager in command panel like plotter manager it has come automatically so i am going to enter it and you can directly go to your add a plotter wizard so i will go uh, convenient method option enter and now after this you, you are required to go to this plot and publish I'm going to plot and publish. Next step is that you will use this add or configure plotters. So I'm going to this add or configure plotters. I'm clicking it. And now it has come. Add a plotter wizard. So you are going to double click this. And now it will ask add plotter introduction is. So you are you are not required to worry about these words. You have to just click next. and again next next and uh, we we'll go backwards and here it is uh, adobe 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 manufacturer name adobe and now the models is post script level 1 so um, you have to uh, in this from post script level 1 to post script level 1 plus so again i will go to next and next next and now in the end it will ask plotter name so you, you have to uh, give a, any name so i am going to give this name as glad studio so uh, again i will go and and yeah, click this next and now after this we can finish this so now you can uh, see here uh, our glad studio photos of it's created after this we can close this uh, window and uh, Required to take a print. I'm going to Control P. Like use and use to take print of any projects in AutoCAD. I'm going to press Plot here, and I'm going to search in Printer and Plotter my new plotter wizard that is Glad Studio Photoshop PC3. I'm going to like this Glad Studio Photoshop PC3, and now I'm going to. If this plot to file, otherwise it will go directly to printer. So you have to make sure that you do check this box. So I am going to window. I am going to take a print, and you are required to center the plot portrait. And I am going to view this, and it is in color, so I don't want. I am going to this. Uh, this now i am going to take a plot by right clicking it and i am going to uh, save this as on desktop as some name i am going to give a name like 1234 5 and the file will be saved as encapsulated 
yes this is photoshop file so i'm going to save it yes file we finally call it now i'll search for my file uh, one two three four should be saved somewhere one two three four this is this is our eps file one two three four five so you can uh, directly open with photoshop i'm going to right click this should fill with a uh, white color i'm going to make a white color in foreground and i'm going to use a paint bucket tool command g and after this you are required to drag this to below this plan level you can name it as flow plan so you can see this is uh, if you use alt and scroll with mouse you will see that this plan is not pixelating and you can work in your presentation drawing so this is method one after this again i am going to my uh, second method and i am going to make a pdf of this previous plot and i am going to drawing to pdf i am going to take a print and to preview this after this i am going to right click and i am going to save this as xyz pdf now i am going to my uh, desktop and i am going to here xyz pdf and i am going to open with photoshop and you can hit these settings crop to media box i'm going to press ok and now it is similar to what we uh, imported from our plotter file that was the best method and even uh, in pdf you can import but sometimes this will become thin lines or pixelate so you can you can change to image size and incre increase the image size also if the lines are coming lighter you, you can go to edit types in if you are using higher version of uh, Photoshop you can go to this Adobe PDF presets I can change this to high quality print so lines will be more clear so uh, this is the method for importing into AutoCAD to Photoshop one is plotter and next one is the PDF format so next is a Revit file if you want to work uh, import your PDF also you can go to your Revit file and suppose I want to import this just to understand I'm going to this file and you can create print same like in AutoCAD and you can download any PDF uh, for getting print or you can use Microsoft print to PDF also I, always use bulgy pdf printer which you can download from any website i will give link in my description so i'm going to this bulgy pdf printer and 
can save to any folder i'm going to save on my desktop and i'm going to name this as revit to photoshop and you can save this pdf I'm going to okay then i will go to save this on my desktop revit to photoshop and saving it in my desktop and save this after this i am going to my desktop and i will search for revit to photoshop it's saved here revit to photoshop i am going to open with photoshop and i am going to open this is almost similar process and you can create from the background here and play any color here right now and you can work on your browser and if it is uh, pixelating you can increase the image size from here Likewise, for the 